Kyle Bradshaw here with your Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. This week we're going to talk about saddlebag fitment. Saddlebag fitment, you'll notice on our website, shows every saddlebag fitting every size and style of bike. The reason we do this is really simple. There are three major modifications that almost everybody makes to their motorcycle. One being the seat, two being the exhaust, and three being the rear turns. The three changes I've just mentioned drastically affect saddlebag fitment. For example, on this VTX, the turn signals used to be way out here, which means we could have had a bag that was 15, 20 inches long and it would have fit on the bike. Now that I've got the Curryock and Silver Bullets, my distance of the top of the saddlebag is drastically reduced. So the number one most important thing to do when picking out a saddlebag is the initial measurement. The next measurement is going to be from wherever the top of the saddlebag is going to sit to about an inch or two above the pipe. This is an important measurement to keep the pipe from melting your saddlebags if they're synthetic or burning your saddlebags if they're leather. The next important thing to remember when choosing a saddlebag is whether you want a slanted saddlebag or more of a round or square saddlebag. That's going to affect the way the saddlebag sits against your shocks or how far you'd have to space it out in order for it to clear the components on this side. Once you've got your measurements down and you know what size and style of the bag you're looking for, you need to take a look at how you're going to mount it. Is it going to be a throwover bag or is it going to be a bolt-on bag? Most throwover bags have a soft backing and you set that backing against a saddlebag bracket. If it's a hard back bag or a bolt-on, then you can use an easy bracket or something of the nature. Now let's take a look at a couple bikes that have saddlebags installed on them. This V-Star 1300, for example, has used a saddlebag mounting stay from Big Bike Parts on this bolt-on saddlebag that was secured through the inside, which makes a very secure mounting platform. On this 750 Arrow, the turn signals were originally here on the fender rail. So in order to make this bag fit, the turn signals had to be moved to the back of the license plate so that he could put a larger bag that would more suit his needs. The throwover basically goes underneath the seat, hangs down on both sides of the bike, and then is supported by a saddlebag bracket. Saddlebag sizing, fitment, measurement, and installation is really a simple process. Saddlebag fitment is one of the most important questions, or one of the most often asked questions here at Cruiser Customizing. We hope that today's tip of the week will help you make a more informed buying decision when choosing saddlebags.